All right, folks, as again, my name is Alexander Morose, and I'm your tutor for this long video. Keep in mind that this video will split into multiple parts over the YouTube. I will I will put all the fancy things for you using the MS XML library. Please go ahead and watch every single part. Please thumbs up for more people to see that video. Thank you so much. All right, so you're probably wondering what is the XML file for those who doesn't know. And for those who knows, please skip to the open and read XML data video to the next part okay so basically xml language is extensible markup language which is uh, pretty much like a simple text and has similar syntax like html language as you can see if you know the html you already mentioned that here's our basic uh, xml document and uh, xml document uh, is be, uh, is been for a while already uh, for about more than 10 years and people uh, using it as a, a industry standards especially big, big corporations and companies because they like to store the data in XML files and call the data back from the XML files so it's pretty much like a database function but just storing into static um, files and then it has ability to call it back okay over here we can see the basic XML file okay every XML file has the a nodes like this one right here starts uh, those um, brackets and uh, always closing with the brackets some people call uh, the nodes as tags and uh, you can call them tags or nodes it's up to you I'm going to call it nodes and um, every XML document starts with a root node which is only one node is allowed to be a root and inside of that root node there is some can be any other nodes sub nodes sub child nodes uh, has the values and inside of those subchild nodes could be another subchild nodes with some values as well the example over here of xml file or xml data is the clean xml data uh, in the pretty much used in 2011 okay so we have root node as visual interface at and every single node in xml file needs to be closed with these brackets sometimes if node doesn't have anything uh, it will be like this um, if it doesn't have the information like this information inside of this node this is the information inside of this node which is another subchild nodes and the value inside of those subchild nodes but if node doesn't have no values and no subchild nodes it should be closed like this sometimes you will see it like that but if it has some values this is called node value as well um, it should be closed after the value with a slash with the bracket slash node name and bracket it's a rule because if you're not going to close your node your XML document will not be functional okay so um, and this type of node that doesn't have no value or any other subchild nodes inside of it so it's open and closed immediately like so okay so as you can see our visual interface node has some application name node and then its application node name um, node is closed and over here there is a text this text called node value so application node has some value which is simple xml manager by alexander morose okay then we have another uh, nodes such as open xml then we have some value in that node 
such as open XML file and read XML data as well as open uh, XML uh, button closed node following our syntax so the syntax every single node should be opened and then closed okay keep this in mind because if you're not going to follow the syntax your XML file is not going to function properly then we have uh, create XML button node inside of it we have value create XML data and create XML button uh, closed node etc okay delete button node which is going to have delete um, node as you can see you can type the XML do document by yourself using the notepad or open it with a notepad but during this video course you will learn how to create dynamically XML documents how to dynamically read them using the programming language Windows programming language uh, such as Visual Basic 6, C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic .NET, Dark Basic, Real Basic, Delphi, and etc. Any language that is capable of programming Windows um, operating system in Windows operating system and open or import DLL such as MSXML 6 DLL and working with that DLL. Okay, so also, also. Um, nodes um, inside of the nodes we can have uh, um, let's say colors colors and I'm going to close it inside of the node we can have another node which is going to be our subchild node I'm going to say font colors color like so and font color and let's say I'm going to specify some values okay so here's the example that inside of the colors node we have a subchild node which is font color and then the subchild node has the value okay then we should close the subchild node and then close the colors node so you got the basic idea this is the clean uh, way of XML data the cleanest way also sometimes people do XMLs like this let's say uh, let me just type it for you over here for instance um, name let's say guy name equal Alex and then 27 or whatever um, 2011 let's say and guy this is the little bit um, not so clean way of the XML uh, data example uh, basically the guy is our node then this node has the attribute which is name and this attribute has the value which is Alex okay as well as the guy uh, node has value which is 2011 so sometimes people create advanced XMLs with more data and, and it should look something like this sometimes you're probably going to open and see not the clean XML like so but XML data like so and nodes like so so you can see our guy node has some attributes which is name and this name attribute has the Alex value and then 2011 will be a value for the guy node and then we have guy node closed closed okay 
So this is another example. Today we will discuss all of this during this video tutorial. So okay, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you're advanced user, I'm apologizing for this. This part was designed for the, the beginners. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next um, video, which will be about open uh, XML file and read XML data. I will see you.